Good morning, traders. Welcome to the TMT Stock Market Strategy video for Monday, October 31st. Happy Halloween to everybody that's out there and celebrating and getting dressed up today. Uh, we had a pretty nice weekend here in the East Coast, uh, so we're uh, looking forward for this week. On Friday, we had uh, a little bit of uh, turbulence with the Hillary Clinton campaign. Uh, FBI reopens their uh, its email investigation, and pretty much the market really didn't do anything. It was kind of grinding, a slow grind higher. And um, right around, um, oh, about 2 o'clock or so, uh, 145, 2, the market just kind of dumped. And then, I, then we went sideways pretty much most of the day. So we only had really one big move. And over the weekend, uh, the FBI, uh, is, so from what I read, is getting a, a warrant to uh, pro continue to process with this uh, email investigation. So not really good for the Hillary Clinton campaign, but who knows what gets, at, gets uh, and comes of this. Um, so anyway... The good thing about it is we're getting volatility. Volatility is creeping up. And I want to show you some charts here. you got to really, really start thinking about. Um, for the longer term guys and the swing traders, um, if you are long, you know, I have a funny feeling that they can jockey, uh, they meaning the uh, money managers and bigger players uh, that are long here, maybe you might want to take some off the table. Now we are coming into the fourth quarter, a couple months left of the fourth quarter. And, uh, you know, why damage whatever you made? Right, uh, so it's possible that we can get a little bit of a sell-off going into the election, which is uh, you know a week away, or even after the election. So I really, I really doubt that the FBI is going to do anything prior to the election. Um, but remember, she doesn't get in until January, so um, that's there's plenty of time between now and then to, uh, to really open up an investigation again. And again, it's just my opinion, but um, I do suspect uh, some more downside probing, and we're going to show it to you in the charts. Let's get right to it. UUP, which is the uh, dollar ETF, um, we've been pretty pretty much calling it the right way. We had this symmetrical triangle breakout. We took out the 2520. We stabilized a little bit. Then we popped and rallied into 20 to 2560. We didn't quite break. We're back down again, which is logical. We're going to probably flag. We, we fill the gap here. So, you know, the 20-day 20, the 20 moving average, even back to the 25-20, which is now support, though, before it acted as resistance. I think we have enough energy to pop and break this and probably test these two target areas here. Um, that is the target areas for the UUP ETF, okay? Next is going to be um, the U.S. dollar itself. And you can see here that we broke out of here. The, I think the next target is going to be 100, and if the market really has some turbulence and uh, some risk-off appetite, and you can see what's happening already. Money is flowing into the U.S. dollar just as a safe haven trade, uh, and that's telling me that there's a risk-off that's happening. And, you know, um, I've been calling days and weeks that, you know, we still have a, a TMT sell signal, and money's flowing out of um, equities and, um, and into some of these safe haven trades and some of these uh, higher interest rate sensitive um um, products. Take a look at the crude oil, and as you know, with a higher dollar, you're going to get weaker commodities. And you could see here that crude oil broke down from the 49. Next test is going to be the 38.50, and even a 61.8 percent retracement. If we get down that far, that uh, that sideways trend line, if you can see here from the April lows, comes in right around 42, uh, 43 dollars. So um, is that out of the cards? Absolutely not. 61.8 percent retracements right here. And uh, we had a, uh, they had a preliminary meeting over the weekend, OPEC, uh, with some of their non-OPEC uh, um, members, and uh, nothing was done. So uh, I would suspect nothing's going to be done. So we'll see what happens here. Let's take a look at gold, GLD. Here's a GLD ETF. And you can see here, uh, uh, we're just kind of basing around. We have the 38% retracement back here. I know they're light, but it's light for a reason. Uh, so we just don't get cluttered up with the charts. First target's going to be um, right up in here, the uh, one, 118 or 116. Second target will be 112, and that'll be the 61.8% retracement here, okay? And this is what I'm looking for, guys. I'm really looking for more, one more downside probing. Uh, really, really knock this uh, out of the ballpark here. Get this thing down, and that's where I'm going to start looking to uh, buy the GLD, okay? Next is going to be the GDX. And next target's going to be right here at the 50% retracement. If we lose that... Okay, if we lose the 50% retracement, we're going to flush down to the 61.8. And that's where I think logically where I think GDX is going to go right around the year. Um, stay in, stabilize between 18, from, so let's say 17, all the way back to about 19 and a half, 20. Okay, that's where that's going to end up going. 
And I want to show you uh, uh, the uh, spiders. Let's get into the index. But I want what I really want to show you here, and I have the other indexes. And you can see all of my uh, my indicators. MACD, slow stoke, and then we get even a slower stochastic, CCI lower. Here's really what I want to, where I want to show you is, the, is right here, uh, the money flow index. This Look at this money coming out, and, and I've been saying it right since the Brexit lows, money's have been, money has been coming out, and you can check the Wall Street Journal with inflows and outflows, and you can see money's been coming out with literally two, two hands, just everybody taking money out of the spiders. You could see that clearly. And there could be a rotation, which it probably is, going into a higher sensitive um, uh, 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 portfolio, uh, whether it be the uh, yield, high yielding products. They're going to get more attention now that the, uh, the 10 year is up nicely about above 180, uh, which hit our target of 185 almost uh, with that ascending triangle. So not bad here with the, uh, with the spiders. So let's get right into the indexes. And here are my downside targets. 210.50, we're going to need to really break out. 210.50, once we break out at 210.50, excuse me, break down, uh, these are your two downside targets, 203 and 198.55. Okay, let's take a look at the next index. And these are, by the way, again, these are your uh, two downside targets. 210.50 needs to get taken out. Uh, that's going to be the first upside. That's going to be your first downside target, excuse me. But the 210, 212.50 is the uh, is where we are right now. It needs to really hold. Or if we do break down on a closing basis, we should tag the 210. That'll be the first target, 203, and then the 198.55, just to kind of reiterate again. And you can see we had a nice big distribution candle yesterday, well, meaning on Friday. Next is the 60 mid. Just want to show you that 212.50 is uh, uh, key and pivotal. And you can see here that we're just making lower lows and lower highs in our indicator. So really not much... Um, not much momentum to the upside okay next is going to be the transports transports really haven't done anything pretty much all of october just consolidating now can it break higher yeah sure can it break lower of course so uh, not telling me anything here with the transportation other than the neutral bias okay iwm next 120 is going to be key as you know we broke 120 117 is our next downside target and then of course 115 and then 11250 okay those are your two other targets, 117, 115, and then 112.50. These are your other two targets down here, IWM. And lastly, these are going to be the Qs. We're going to need to really take out that 117-ish area. Once we take that out, that 38% retracement really is going to be the first target, downside target. And look at the volume profile. Uh, low, you see that? We have a thin zone here. Once we get that thin zone really gets taken out, then uh, you're going to see a really big flush right down to this area here. And that's where I'm looking for, right to this area. That's going to be really your first target in Qs. All right, guys, let's see what happens. It's going to be very interesting, to say the least. It could be a huge game changer for the uh, for the Bulls, that's for sure. And then uh, let's see what happens. We get some movement to the downside. Hey, look, you know, uh, you know, everything just can't go straight up. Uh, I'd like to see a market pull back and get some sort of a decent correction. And then we could really start building position to the long side. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Happy Halloween.